Everybody, so I had asked a question about how to get rid of these uh, mushrooms here, and I've got some responses. And I don't know if I can get a good angle on this, but I tried out uh, the lemon juice with a high salt concentrate. And if you can see that one in there, it was huge, it was covering my poker star money and killing it. So I um, picked up a syringe from a local um, animal supply store and I mixed lemon juice with the salt um, from my tank and it's super strong concentrate. I then stuck the needle in the mushroom's mouth the best I could, injected just a little bit and it uh, shriveled up. And there's actually another one right there I think I hit. Still looking pretty shriveled up today. And another one right there at the base. And those ones were really big. Although, this big one right here, I did the same thing, but I don't think the syringe um, went into uh, the mouth and into the tube of the mushroom. So, it wasn't as effective. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably try to hit one or two of these every couple weeks uh, to see if I can slowly get rid of them. Uh, somebody did comment say that, hey, if you do not get these out of your tank without killing them, they release toxin, toxins and will end up crashing your tank. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just try to hit one or two, uh, like I said, every couple weeks, you know, get a good water change in, and um, you know, hit another one, see um, how it works out. So uh, give me a second, let me get this stuff set up and ready and I will show you exactly you know, how I um, did this. All right, so this is that um, lemon and salt mixture I talked about, the syringe. So just skimming the very top, you know, I tried to get um, it pretty good full with the lemon juice and the salt um, mixture and then um, you know make sure that it sprays out because you know with the amount of salt that I actually put in there it's um, hard it will get clogged the syringe will get clogged with you know salt so you know you want to make sure that it's actually spraying out and then, um, you know, it's, it's ready for, you know, you to inject, you know, the mushrooms. All right, so, as you can see, this one is starting to get in the way of my zoas. So I obviously want to, you know, try to prevent it from, um, you know, taking over my zoas. I don't know if I actually, it might have got clogged. I see a little bit of the lemon juice kind of coming out. Um, you know, again, I want to be kind of careful, you know, with my zoas there. I don't want to, um, you know, hurt the zoas in any way. Um, I'm not sure how much lemon juice was actually coming out there. So I don't know how effective. I might end up having to hit it again. And uh, we'll just see. We'll see what happens. I'll go ahead and hit this big one in the back again, just so you can kind of see, maybe it will be a little more effective or easier to see on video.
and you can see it just curling right up because it obviously does not like that too much and that's what I did for the other uh, three that are still kind of shriveled up today so um, you know I would say it seems to be effective I'm obviously gonna wait to give a definite um, ruling on on this to kind of see you know if it affects my tank in any way or anything like that but um, as I can see so far it seems to be uh, working well and then again if you do try this make sure you do not um, get too many mushrooms at one time because uh, I did have that one person comment saying that it will kill um, or crash your tank because of a chemical that the mushrooms will release as they're dying um, you know stay tuned uh, wait for the update video so you can see how actually you know how this actually worked um, you know the benefits or you know the downfalls to this and uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video bye